Hey guys, back with another video this week and today let's talk about iOS 16 and specifically which bits do I actually use and find useful, so stay tuned. The first thing you'll notice when you open your phone is the new lock screen layout. So you can actually switch between different lock screen designs and wallpapers and stuff now just like you can on the Apple Watch in a similar fashion. So on the new lock screen you can choose either an image and it will put the clock in front of the subject of that image in a really weird smart sort of way which I find really cool. Or if you want you can have a specific lock screen like a weather lock screen where it will play some weather animation and stuff like that. An earth one which is my personal favourite and on certain lock screens like the earth one you can actually have widgets as well. So I've got my calendar, reminders, you can have the weather, other stuff like that which you really couldn't do before. It's been on Android for a long time but they've done it really well here so I'm really happy about that. In the same sort of area, the lock screen or I guess you could call it the notification center, you have a new way of seeing your notifications and actually you can choose between several options here in settings. Now by default they'll now roll in from the bottom of your lock screen instead of the middle or top which I think is really nice. It doesn't obstruct your lock screen image as much anymore and it's not in your face, you know, it's just better organized, tucked away at the bottom. And one thing which I really like is instead of just having them all roll in as they come, you can actually change that in settings to just be a notification count. So it won't just fill up your lock screen of notifications, but instead it will just give you a number and then you can click on that and they'll roll in from the bottom and you can see them. So I think that's a much better, less obstructive way of looking at your notifications. You can probably tell by now this is a pretty quick fire sort of video, but don't worry, I'll take it down one notch just to keep it chill, you know? Now the next thing which I found really cool in iOS 16 is the new weather app. And no, it's not something you're gonna notice straight away because the app itself looks pretty similar when you first open it. But one thing that's always annoyed me about the iOS weather app is, say you want to know the weather tomorrow, you could never find out exactly when the weather was gonna change or anything like that. You could just see the general weather for the entire day, you know, like lowest temperature, highest temperature, that sort of thing. But now you can actually click on individual days that aren't just the current day and see how the weather's gonna vary across the day, like you can on most other weather apps. So it's something they should have done a long time ago, but I'm really happy they've added it now. Next up has to be my personal favorite. Apple have always had probably what I believe to be the best haptic engine on any smartphone. And they finally allowed you to use a haptic style keyboard, you know, where you click on the different letters and every time it gives you a small haptic response. Now it's not overbearing, it's not like buzzing like crazy every time you click a letter like on some other phones out there, not gonna mention any names. <coughs> Samsung, got a little sidetracked there. But the haptic keyboard is absolutely excellent. It's probably the best one I've used on any smartphone now. And I'm so glad that they've added this feature because it just makes typing, which you do a lot on your smartphone, a much nicer experience. Probably more addictive, but much nicer. I have to admit, I didn't even know this was on the update until pretty recently, but now you know. Moving on though, every time you open your phone now onto the home page, you're gonna notice that there's a small bubble near the bottom of the screen that says search. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this was there before. I think before it was just the scroll to next page icon. And if you click on this now, it will bring down the search bar as if you had pulled down on your screen, which you can still do. This bit's slightly redesigned. It's nothing new really. It's basically just like spotlight search or anything like that but it's there if you want it. The next feature is one that sounds absolutely awesome and it was on the keynote, but unfortunately I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. And that's the live updating like widgety thing which appears on the lock screen. I'm sure that's what they called it in the keynote. But anyway, it's basically where if you order something like an Uber where you're gonna get live updates on the location of your taxi or something like that, then on the lock screen there'll be a widget which basically shows you this progress so you don't need to keep hopping into the app every time as you did before. If it works well, I can see that being an absolutely awesome feature for lots of different apps out there, but of course I assume it will require different companies like Uber, maybe Starbucks, stuff like that, to actually sign up for this and 
develop their widget so that it works with the iPhone. Now there's lots of other features on iOS, which to be honest, you're probably not gonna use that much. One of them which comes to mind is where they have this smart like AI machine learning style thing where you can click on the subject of a photo and just drag it out. Like say you have a photo of your dog in the park or whatever, you could just hold on your dog and drag it out as like a sticker without the background and just send it to someone or save it as an image or whatever. That sounds like it could be pretty cool and pretty useful, but to be honest, you're not gonna be using stuff like that too often unless that's your sort of thing. But other than that, those were the features which I've found pretty useful or stuff that I actually come across on a day-to-day -day basis. If you like the video, then definitely hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, then smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell below. See you next time.